Hey, welcome back to the channel. This week's video is actually a pretty exciting one because there's a little bit of a style shift. We're going to go shoot some nighttime photography. And recently I just got an 85mm lens for my Sony a7 III, so I thought it would be pretty interesting to kind of match my Sony a7 III uh, lens and pop on the 85mm from the Mamiya RB67. So I grabbed that lens on and I thought, I'm going to go take some night photos. It's been a long time. So I got out and went to a bit of an industrial area out in Stockton and had a little walk around, a bit of a drive around and took some photos that I ended up liking a fair bit. And I'll, in this video, you guys are going to see the process of exactly how I did that. It's a lot more slow paced than usual and that is just the nature of nighttime photography. It takes longer to set up, there's a lot of waiting in between frames. So you'll see my process here and a bit of a visual diary of me taking some photos of these, uh, these buildings and these night landscapes. Hope you enjoy. So I've just got a frame set up here. I'm just gonna take a uh, reading of the light. At the moment, it's not really giving me any. So what I'll do is change it, change the settings over just quickly. So here we go. I'm gonna open this up as far as it goes. So luckily for us on this lens, it goes all the way up to F45. So we've got a lot of leeway with how open and sharp these photos can be. So I'm gonna do this first one at about a 30 second exposure. And let's do that now. So I'll get my phone out and get my timer out. And make sure everything is locked and loaded. And here we go. Three, two, We're actually going to push this to 35 and there. Cool. And let's load up the next one. Okay. Now this one is the same, obviously subject, but in a bit of a different angle. And there's much more reflection because we're directly on in front of it. I'm going to try and take a meter reading here. because I'm not close enough to the actual thing. There's not enough light that is reading over this way. So the reader is a little bit useless at this point. So off intuition, I think I'm gonna go for about a minute on this one and just see how that comes out. So we did 30 seconds on the last one. So let's just test. It's pretty bright but it will really bring out the rest of the sky, I think, going 30, going for that little bit longer. So we're ready to go here. I just want to straighten up this horizon a little bit. And that'll do. Cool. So the reading at the moment is four seconds at F16. So I'll just make sure that it's set up here. Cool. And then timer out. You can't actually see this scene, which I kind of like. So timer, F16, everything's set. Here we go. Boom. Have a look at that one. So I really like this scene, as you can see in the camera, that your the view that you're looking through right now, it's actually really quite interesting and quite ominous. Um, I'd like to see if I can get a light meter reading here. It's 
It's not looking like he wants to cough one up, but I'm gonna go for 60 seconds at F16. And we'll see how that goes. Actually, let's go F11 at one minute. It's just really dark. So F11, one minute, here we go. Get the phone out and let's time it. So one of the great things about shooting this stuff at night with the camera right now, talking through the process with you, is it's kind of note taking in a form for me as well. So it's really good to have this opportunity to know exactly what I shot and never forget. Usually I would just have a pen and paper and write down every photo and everything that I did in number on the roll so that I could cross check it later and get some better results. But this is good enough for me. I always go back on what I said. I'm going to like a minute 10. I'm going, it's even further, a minute 30. Just cause it's so dark, I do really want to see what it comes up with, if I can get some light in it. Here we go, minute 30. It's looking like a good one. I've got my uh, high vis jacket on just to make sure that I don't get in trouble. Ooh, ooh. Some ships, they're talking to each other. So it reckons F16 at 15 seconds. I'm gonna have to agree with that one. I don't know if those cars in the foreground would have affected that, but we will see. So that's pretty much everything I have for you this week. It's been an absolute pleasure to show you some of my nighttime photography. Um, I really actually enjoyed going out and shooting these. It was a very slow process. And the thing about nighttime photography is there's a lot more to think about. It slows you down, makes you consider your compositions. And all of these photos came of just one roll of Portrait 800. And there's some other photos that I didn't show you that weren't as good or were just not as fun to film. So anyway, let me know what you think. If you want to see more content like this, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Cheers.